Hey, welcome back. So this week I want to share another experience of mine. So online dating is, you know, it's awful. It's like the worst thing ever, right? Because you never know who you're going to end up with or like see or meet, you know, for the first time. And a lot of times they don't, they'll just stop messaging you and ghost you, right? And that's, that, that's like sucky part, right? And that's just part of online dating, especially on like the mutual app, which is, you know, the app for like LDS people to meet. But usually once you go on the date a lot of times it's just either boring or whatever but every now and then you'll end up with a very bad date like things go off off the rails right and that's kind of what happened to me um earlier this year so i just want to show you guys like probably the worst probably the worst day i've ever been on and well you'll see why So yeah, so me and this girl, you know, we started uh, talking, we started uh, just chatting quite a bit. Um, I don't know, she seemed pretty nice. I asked her out, and um, and we decided to meet up to get some food, like a, at a Mexican like restaurant, right? Um, so yeah, I don't know, we meet up. She's a little bit late, which happens a lot, I've noticed, especially on like, uh, I don't know, when I'm meeting up with someone. Usually they're always like 10 minutes late. But whatever, that's aside the point. So she's, uh, she kind of gets there, you know, we'll, we hug, and I'm like, oh, nice to meet you and everything. And then we get in line to like order our food and stuff, and we just start talking. And so, uh, you know, I look her up before like, you know, like going out with her to like, I don't know, you look her up on social media, you look up the people, you don't know who you're meeting, right? So I look her up, and I notice we have like, kind of like a friend of a friend, like mutual friends kind of so I just start asking her oh like how do you know you know this person and they're like oh yeah like when I moved here you know we we met each other and now we're like really good friends and stuff I'm like oh that's cool like tell me about her life because I don't really I haven't really kept up with like those that group of people in a while and she's like oh yeah so um, yeah she doesn't go to church anymore like she got like divorced and stuff I was like, oh, that's, oh, that's so sad, you know, uh, it's kind of sad to see that, you know, because I kind of knew her, and she was a, and she's super nice, and she's still, you know, super nice, but I was like, it's kind of sad when, I don't know, you find out someone kind of like, has left the church, you know, and then she's like, well, I don't, I don't think it's that sad, and I'm like, like, you don't think it's sad when someone like, I don't know, like, stops going to church when they stop like I don't know like believing in the gospel and she's like well like everyone's paths are different in life and I'm like well yeah that's true I agree but like if you already you know if you have a belief in the church and a testimony it's kind of sad when people either they choose another path once you know they I don't know, they have that testimony. I know this gospel to be true, right? So it's just kind of sad to see people, you know, choose another path. Like, I accept it, it's totally fine. But I I don't think it's like, I'm not happy about it, you know? And she's like, well, all truth is the same, you know? You find truth at wherever you go. And I was like, well, I don't agree with that. You know, I don't agree with that. I feel like, yeah, you can find truth anywhere, you know, in other religions. And, you know, just like, I don't know, in a lot of fields of study, science, astronomy, you know, everything. You can find God in anything, you know, we, we know that. But the fullness of the gospel, you're only going to find in the church. In the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And she's like, well, I, I think everyone has to choose their own, you know, past in life. And I'm like, yeah, that's fine. I agree. So, I don't know. Like, it was kind of weird. Like, just me, I don't know. I just shared, like, an opinion that was a little bit different from her. And we just kind of, like, I don't know. We had this, in like, obviously, she was trying to make, uh, she was trying to, like, I don't know, like, being just getting more aggressive. And I was like, okay, hey, whatever. So, we order our food. And uh, we sit down and we start eating. And she's from like um, East Coast, 
and I'm also from the East Coast. So I just I ask her like, oh, how was your experience, you know, coming out here um, to school in Utah? You know, we both went to BYU and stuff. And she's like, well, like, you know, uh, it's been hard because, you know, there's people that, you know, they are set on their beliefs and their traditional beliefs. And, they, they, you know, they say things that are discriminatory and like sexist all the time. I'm like, yeah, I agree. Yeah, I've definitely experienced that here um, since moving here. And uh, what do you do to like, I don't know, like uh, remedy that to like, you know, help that situation. And she's like, oh, I don't do anything. I report them and then they didn't do anything. I was like, well, yeah, like, yeah, I mean, and she was talking about more specifically at her job, like someone said some discriminatory, like some sexist things um, to her. And I was like, did you ever try to address it with the person, like, who, um, who said those things? And she was like, oh, it's, it's not my responsibility to explain to a man, like, um, why they're, like, sexist. And I was like, like, I agree, like, I agree, however, a lot of people I've learned here, especially here, um, in Utah where they're not as um, exposed to other cultures or just other beliefs and stuff like a lot of it is just ignorance and the best way in my opinion to um, combat ignorance is by teaching and understanding and I try and I explain that to her and she's like well like it's not I'm not gonna use my energy and my time to explain to a man like why they shouldn't be sexist and I'm like Okay, whatever. Um, and I explained kind of my, some situations that happened to me, even at work too, of like racist uh, and discriminatory, like things that happened to me. And I told her like I confronted it, I, like how I confronted them and um, how I dealt with that. And she was like, well, the reason you think like that is because you're a privileged male. And I'm like, okay. All right, um, I don't know where to go with this conversation now because like once you start saying things like that, you're not promoting like open communication now. And I, I'm saying all this. I'm like, you're not promoting communication. You're just shutting me down now. Um, so it's going to be really hard to have a conversation with you when you're saying those, uh, when you say stuff like that. And she's like, well, like, um, things that you are saying are problematic and I'm like okay I'm sorry I'm sorry about that and I agree I agree as a male I do have privileges that you don't as a, as a woman and I have experience in my life uh, you know like I and I agree with that however my I'm just trying to understand you a little bit better but you're not even willing to explain to me kind of uh, your side or your feelings or your beliefs. And she's like, well, yeah, like, I'm not going to explain. It's not, I'm not going to use my energy. It's too much energy to, like, explain. And I was like, okay. And we're, at this point, we're pretty angry at each other. It's very, like, we're eating tacos, but we're also kind of, like, kind of, not yelling, but we're very angry <laughs> it's getting very heated and I was like look look that's fine like that's fine you can you know you the you can believe what you want and you can live your life how you want I'm just saying that you're gonna end up with these situations again and again and again um, and yeah I agree you can't confront everyone when they say something sex sexist or racist but I think um, especially in a gospel setting, what we learn in the church is to try like practice empathy, practice understanding, right? You know, uh, if someone has a conflict with you, you know, is to try to, you know, like uh, practice empathy. And, um, and I don't know, she couldn't really say much about that. And we're just like, I don't know, super, super angry at each other. We're like eating and eating and we eat and we finish. And then the lady, the waitress comes and she's like, you know, do you want some dessert? And I was like, ah, I think we're going to skip on dessert. You know, like things started like, like 
uh, cooling down a little bit. And at this point, I'm like, look, we'll just have to agree to disagree. You know, we just live. We have different opinions. That's fine. You know, it was nice to meet you. I still walk her. Like, I, I, I walk her to her car and everything. And, you know, I say bye and whatever. And then delete her number on my phone. Um, so, I don't know. I just found it very interesting because we're both, like, very, like, liberal uh, with our ideas, or even, like, politics and stuff, but, like, I just found her to be the type of liberal that, um, wasn't open to sharing ideas, and, it, like, communicating those ideas, and that happens on both sides, when you're at both extremes, I see that, that you, it's either my opinion or no one's opinion, and I don't know, it was just kind of crazy, it was kind of crazy, I, I wasn't imagining uh, I never imagined someone like would like call me like an entitled privileged male like on a first date like I mean I agree like I said I agree I, I, I do have some privileges as a male but um, I don't know usually that I think that's like more of like a like a fourth or fifth date conversation but who knows so yeah so that was probably probably the worst date I've ever been on um, but I mean it was a good learning experience it was a good learning experience so but yeah, how about you? What's your like worst like dating or like dating experience or online dating experience? I'm I'm sure everyone has their like horror dating experiences, right? So you could comment if you like. Um, and yeah, you can like and subscribe to keep watching more videos. And I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.